host Jesse Garcia. Thank you so much for coming out tonight and being a part of this amazing show. Today we have the Bayonne High School Thespian Troop 1593. What are all, all your names, grades, and positions in this group? Hi, my name is Zuri Lewis. I am in 10th grade and I am the newest inductee. Hey, my name is D'Angelo Carpio. I'm in the 12th grade and I am the Thespian's treasurer. Hi, I'm Elijah Guzman and I am a junior and I'm a historian. So I see that all I see that you all had your New Jersey Thespian Festival this past weekend. Congratulations on being such an amazing and talented troupe. How would you describe what the Thespian Society is? Um I believe that it's a good place for a person that likes theater to express themselves in a way and to stand out and be who they are with a whole bunch of other people who like to do the same exact thing. I think it's good for them. Yeah, I love the experience. It gives you opportunities to sing and dance, and you get to work on your craft, show your craft, and you get many opportunities in the future for very big things. I love the opportunities and the people that you meet and the events that we do along with the fundraisers that we hold just for ourselves along with Broadway actors and stars. Right. What shows have you worked on in this school? Um, I have done two shows, The Wiz and Twelve Angry Jurors. I have done a total of four shows. Uh, well, okay, Once on this Island, The Wiz, Twelve Angry Jurors, and then one on freshman year name called Matilda. Uh, I have worked on three shows backstage. I have worked on All in Timing, The Wiz, and Twelve Angry Jurors. What roles did you play in each role? Show. Um, in The Wiz, I was a pit singer, and in Twelve Year Jurors, I was juror number three. Um, in Matilda, I played Rudolfo. Once on this island, I played Daniel. In The Wiz, I played the Scarecrow, and in Twelve Year Jurors, I was juror number twelve. Um, for All in Timing, I worked on stage crew. For The Wiz, I was the stage manager. And for 12 Angry Jurors, I was Lightning Tech and Save Manager. How would you describe your experience on, at the Thespian Festival? I feel like it was a good experience since it was my first. Um, I think it's, you know, it's cool, it's fun. Uh, the people there are really nice. I feel like it's a good experience. I, yeah, feel, I feel like, like honestly, the vibe was so energized and they were so yeah. welcoming like anything you do wasn't wrong like they made you feel okay with wh whoever you were and whoever you yeah. wanted to be and whatever you wanted to do um i definitely say it was definitely a dream come true um i did attend last year but it was online so it wasn't exactly the same experience so going in person for the first time definitely like blew my mind and you may met so many different people and it was such a heartwarming thing to be a part of. What performance? What performances did you compete with? Um. Well, for me, I did a duet scene with one of the other thespians. Yeah. Um. I did a musical solo. I sang "My Funny Valentine," and then I did a duet scene with another thespian from a piece of, of, of Mice and Men. I did a duet with another thespian from Love is an Open Door from Frozen. What workshop did you attend to? Um, there was so many, I couldn't even get to all of them. Um, I did some like that were, well, the only ones I really did were dancing ones. I feel like those were a very good experience. I honestly did a few. Um, I wish I could have done more, but the ones I did were tap dancing. Uh, we did a dance, a dance piece from Disney. We worked on stage fighting, and one called "Scene into Song." Um, I did uh, two dance ones. Um, one was Disney, and another one was a choreography from Mean Girls. I did, and I went to an STL workshop to just learn more about it and what it is. And I also went to a stage management workshop to learn more about how to be a proper stage manager and just to get more information on it overall. 
How many days a week did you rehearse individually to prepare for this competition? Um, really, I took a lot of time out. It, me and the other thespian, we we had to learn it in like the matter of like what two weeks, but you know we I believe that we did like very good on the duo scene and yeah. That's all I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, for my solo, I took I took a uh, last period of every day and one extracurricular activity to practice. And with the scene, we set a time we set time aside from school and practice person like per like with ourselves at a certain place and time. Um, I think I practiced about like twice by myself and then like once actually with my partner and we we wanted to get the taste of how it is like hypothetically something was to happen during the song and we can like catch up with each other so that's what the practice individually was for and then to actually do the choreo and like sing together that's what the one time was for. Eli, I heard that you won silver for Honor Troop. How'd that feel? Um, it was definitely a dream come true. We won silver and basically what it is is we take all the events that we did during the year, whether it was with theater, within the troupe, um, and we put them together and we get based amount of points. So based on the amount of points that we get, depends whether we get bronze, silver, or gold. We got silver, which is obviously a second place, and we also got a shout out for the most community service in the state. What was your main priority throughout the whole process of putting together your piece for the competition? Was it hard to stay focused? Um, not really. I think the main priority was to just make sure we had all our lines down, you know. Um, yeah, that's, I, I think that's just the one main priority. Just make sure you have it down, review, go through it, and you should be good. Make sure your acting's on point, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, besides, besides putting in the acting, the main priority was to keep reviewing it until there were no mistakes yeah. And once we got that down, then we worked on the acting skills and the craft. Um, I think my main priority was definitely get, getting confidence to do it because we definitely had the song down pack. So it's, it's an easy song. It's a really popular song. So getting the choreo down packed and having the confidence to perform it, whether it's in front of a bunch of people or a little bit of people, I think that was definitely our main priority. And regards to staying focused, it was pretty easy. What is something you would do differently if you had the chance to change something you did for the piece of piece you competed with? Um, I feel like I should have put more emotion into my character um, during certain parts of the scene. I feel like that's the only real thing I would change if I wanted to do it better. My uh, my two main issues were I should I could have used more voice technique and plenty of dictation. Um, I'd say more choreography and more emotion within the song itself, since it is a hyped up song. You want to have like a lot more energy. How many members are in your troupe? Um, fourteen. I think 13? Yeah, I think 13. 13? Sure. Yeah, 13. 13 members. All right. Yeah. Are you currently doing any fundraisers or collections for the troop right now? Um, we are. We are doing a veterans um, collection, which is collecting puzzle books such as like um, crosswords, word searches, and we are also collecting socks for them as well and coffee. So, yeah, that's... The only fundraiser we're doing as of right now. Would you would you encourage other students in BHS to join Thespian? Yes. Yes, for it sure. Is, like, <laughs> it's such a good experience for people who love theater. It's and we're like welcoming. We're very welcoming. I feel like it's like. Honestly, it's cool. you can use it as an escape, and when whenever, whenever you feel bored or there's nothing to do or you want to be busy and productive, 
thespian society is the way to go. Yeah, we'll keep you productive. <clears throat> and honestly, to get into the thespian society itself, you do need to work on at least two shows. So you can work on Rent, upcoming show, come on. Yes, come you on. can work on Rent, and then you can work on uh, next year's fall play, and then by like January, you can definitely be a thespian. And you can go to the festival with us. Yeah, cool. But I definitely think it's a great opportunity to meet new friends, to learn new experiences, and to... Um, Get out in the community as well and just, like, work hard. Yeah. And it makes you feel absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Also, over the summer, you can join our summer showcases. You can. Yeah. We do a little summer camp. Um, um, the morning is for the high school. And then in the afternoon, it's for elementary school kids. And we get to work with them, see some new stuff. And I think that's absolutely a great experience to be a part of. Speaking of upcoming shows, did any of you audition for Rent? And if so, who? Um, yes, I did. I auditioned for Maureen and Mimi. The only two, I think, yeah. Yeah, I've auditioned, and the role I preferred was Roger. I did not audition, but I will be stage managing and working stage crew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are you most excited for the show Rent? Um, most excited for, I'd say, learning how to go on with a musical that doesn't have a lot of choreography in it. Like, it's mostly singing and acting compared to choreography. Mm -hmm. I say there's at least one actual scene that has a full dancing in it. I don't really think it has much dialogue either. So it's mostly just it's singing, man. It's a lot of singing, and I can't wait for that. <laughs> no, a musical that's just singing, but still telling an amazing story. Yeah, yeah, I think I that's think. really cool. I'm excited for that. I can't yeah, wait. <laughs> I am. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And that's all the questions we have for you tonight. Thank you all so much for coming coming to Peñon tonight. It has been a pleasure having you, and I hope to see you again. Stay sharp, and good night, Peñon. <laughs>